we're uh, we're abolitionists, and to IVF to create a child through IVF, you have to actually murder 10 to 15 to 20, sometimes 30, 40 kids, right? Right. Because life begins at conception, right? And uh, what they do here actually is they'll actually take the children that they've created the the fertile eggs right right and they'll pick which ones they want to put in the mom they'll freeze some they'll send some out for experimentation if yeah. you okay it or they'll throw they'll dispose of them so that's what happens so what we say is if life begins at conception nobody should decide which lives should live and which side should die you right. know and you know we care about the people doing it right sure. because um the Bible clearly states that we shouldn't murder. You know, God hates the hands of shit in us in blood. So we're Christians, we're abolitionists, and we're uh, we're just asking people to not murder their children and, and uh, reconsider and uh, sure. take a biblical view. Well, because the Bible says, "Inward in your womb, I formed you in iniquity." Yeah. We, was born, we were born into sin. So yeah. Do you believe it's a life before it's conceived? Not well. It is not. It is. I believe God knew you. <laughs> Right, okay. You know, that it wasn't actually a life before it was conceived. Right. It, now, once it's conceived, it is a life, right? Absolutely. So, but once it's conceived, yeah, it's it's a, it's a new being. You can't kill it, right? You know, you can't. Yeah. I wasn't sure if y'all were like doing for abortion or if y'all were doing. Well, we do it for abortion, um, you know, mainly. But IVF is like we were out at Liberty High School this okay. whole last week, last couple of weeks. Uh, okay. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, and uh, we go out in front of abortion clinics, and but IVF. IVF, what's happened is, is IVF is so sterilized right. that even pastors are doing it. They're okay in it in congregations. It's no problem. But they're not, they're not really educated on what's happening. And in the spirit, they ignore it. Sure. You know, because they know that to create a child that they fertilize 15, it used to be like 35, 40 eggs. Right. Now they got it down to 15, 20, you know. And, uh, Don't they implant them all? No, not all of them. Some of them, they what they'll do is they'll freeze them okay. and hold on to them, and then they'll do like four, you know. And then if and, and then usually those don't take, and so they'll take like four more, right. and then they'll take like four more, and then they have to take another set of sure. fifteen, you know. And sure. then they'll put a couple in, um, and then you know maybe two or three will take that time, yeah. you know. So that's that's kind of. Well, I've, I've never given much thought to. Uh the in vitro and stuff like that i mean my sister went through it but i've always been a huge pro-life advocate yeah. about you know abortion and, and see we're not pro-life at all okay. we, we try to put the pro-life business out of out of business and the reason is because the last 43 years the only thing the pro-life movement has tried to do is regulate abortion when they put forth bills to say when you can kill a baby how you can kill a baby right. and where you can kill a baby right. abolitionist bills which there's like i think 12 of them in the country right now right. Um, say that it is illegal and it's murder and nobody should be allowed to do it. Right. So we're abolitionists because what happens is the pro-life movement says um, give us your money we'll fight abortion. We'll put political pro-life um, conservatives into power. Right. But what happens is it's a lie because what happens is like all the Supreme Court justices that voted for Roe v. Wade were all put in by pro-life conservative presidents, Republicans, every single one of them. You know who didn't vote for Roe v. Wade? Yeah. Uh, Democratic right. um, Supreme Court Justice. But I also think it's important to not generalize an entire movement based off the corruption of a few. Otherwise, you say Christians are hate-filled, stone-casting bigots because some yeah. of those who have raised the power are then it makes a general statement for all of them. True. You can't say all pro-life are because the movement started out as a desire to... Well, not all pro-life people, but that's... Yeah. To me, all right, like, because yeah. I'm in this, like, yeah. I know, I talk to the pro-life leaders. Yeah. What you said, what I hear is, yeah. you can't say all Nazis are bad. You can't do that because there's some good Nazis. I mean, and you know what? There, there were some good people that claimed to be Nazis and Christians, went to churches, you know, well, but the Nazi leadership was bad. I don't think a Nazi... A Nazi was an extremist group fighting to kill an, an era, a race based off of Aryan supremacy. Pro-life is a desire to protect the child from being killed. Now, yeah, but the Nazis were a, a political party that right. had control. Right, but pro-life isn't political, it's a movement. Well, they they are political because they... They, they take a political stance on they, they, And they put political um, judges in place. They um, and political representatives and political senators, like they'll tell you which senators are pro-life and which ones aren't. But my point is, yeah. is that what they do 
never abolishes abortion. We're like, right. we're abolitionists, like right. the Garrisonian abolitionists of sure. slavery. Like in Texas, it used to be okay to own black people, right? right. People own right. black people. Right. And people would say, well, I'm not, I'm not for owning black people, but I can't, you know. And, and, and other people would say like, well, we should make it to where they're nicer to black people. We should regulate sure. black, the, you know, like you shouldn't be able to rape black women. Right. That's wrong. What we say is, you know, it's wrong because everybody's created in the image of God. You right. shouldn't kill slaves. You shouldn't right. rape slaves. You shouldn't right. own them. Same with this. And the pro-life movement doesn't do that. They put down bills like, well, you shouldn't kill babies with partial birth. Well, you shouldn't kill babies if, if they can feel pain. Well, you shouldn't kill babies um, if they have a heartbeat. Well, see, I'm pro-life, and I don't think you should kill babies at all. Right, but your leaders take your money. I don't claim them as a leader. Though. But they're the ones, because you... you all right, like let's let's take you for an example, okay? Because right. you brought yourself up. I'm right. not picking on you. No, no, no. Go but for you probably it. have I'm never done. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So is he? He's a marine. Okay. So, uh, so he's uh, so you've probably never actually done anything in your whole life to help end abortion in America. So check this out. Like if there was a woman over there getting raped, yeah. And and you and I were sitting here, and you'd be like, I'm against women getting raped. Yeah, but you and intervene. You're and I'd be like, open. how are you against it? And you're like, well, that's wrong. Yeah. Like, you have a good moral position. Sure. Abortion should be illegal. Well, that's what it says right? in the Bible, to know what is right and not to do it is sinful. Right. So, what are you, have you done to make I'm abortion... I'm a Bible study pastor, so... Well, that's good. That's yeah. good. Um, good. Well, because the church that I go to, we actually um, don't just speak up as pro-life being for the child. We actually, the people that are in a position of financial stability, whatnot, or people that are looking for babies, they will actually take in a girl who is single, doesn't right. have a place for the baby, they'll let her live there, and they'll either adopt the baby, or they'll, uh, you know, help her get on her feet. Right. So, um, And that's a good Christian thing to do, right? Sure. We should help women. Right. It's what, what's James say. 127 say? Uh, Taking care of widows and orphans, right? right? In their time of need. That's right. true in undefiled religion yeah. before God. But that'll never, what, what you're talking about right there, yeah. the, that snippet yeah. won't make abortion illegal in our land. Sure. You know, all it will do is help women who are willing to be helped. But women that want to go in and kill their babies, it should be illegal. Just like women who want to kill their one-year-olds. Right. And that's what we, we, we tell pastors all the time. Your moral position doesn't help make abortion illegal. Like right. we should make abortion illegal just like it's illegal to rape women. Like if right. it was illegal to rape, let's just say pastor's wives. Right. Something crazy, right? right? I mean, it's crazy that we can kill babies. Sure. But let's just, let's say crazy, like uh, you, you could you could kill pastor's wives, all right? They're right. fair game. Right. Well, the pastors would be like, they wouldn't be like, I'm morally against that, but I, I'm like, I just preach the gospel. Right. They wouldn't do that, right? They'd be going to their senators and their congressmen and, right. you know, everybody and going, no, 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 no. You'd be going to your police chiefs and you'd be like, shame on you. Right. You well, should. let me ask you this. Uh -huh. um, heroin's illegal. Killing me is illegal. It's already illegal. Yeah, right. It's still happening. Right. So, and I agree. Uh, you know, the abortion due to mother safety, rape, and incest make up less than 1% of all abortions performed. The rest of the 99% of the 65 million killed since Roe v. Wade have been because the baby's been inconveniently timed. Right. So, you can make something illegal, but people are still going to do it. They'll find it back out. I, I think abortion right. should be illegal. I, right. I do. That won't stop it because the right. heart of the problem is the heart of the problem. Right. So we've got to, I believe absolutely that we, we need, need revival. To, yes, we need absolutely. revival. Yeah. But but if but you wouldn't say, okay, well, well, by your argument, we we should not we should make rape legal. Oh yeah. We should well, make no. like killing people legal because no, no, people no, are going to no. do it anyway, right? No, absolutely. I think abortion should be illegal, yeah. and we should do things to make it illegal, yeah. right? I don't. It, it won't stop it. It'll minimalize right. it, and it'll it, you know it'll min minimalize that, it a lot, and our yeah. judgment of our country. Because yeah. what does Christianity look like in a city? in a state where yeah. child sacrifice is the number one yeah. cause of death. Well, we've what does Christianity look like that? In our country since the world scene. Yeah, 60,000 a year in Texas alone. And we have 13,000 kids right now in foster care waiting to be adopted that nobody wants. And you know who's adopting them? Gays and lesbians. Yeah. And you know how I know that? I adopted six of them and I had to sit in all the classes with gays and lesbians. Yeah. And I can't even keep my, my, my wife would kick me under the table almost every day. You know, cause I'd be like, that's just wrong. It's yeah. wrong that you would like make out, you two guys would yeah. make out in front of a... Well, and it's the same thing that goes along with transgender bathrooms. We can make them illegal. People say, well, they haven't been bothering anybody, you know, up till then, until we made it a thing. Well, as soon as you started encouraging it and making it normal is when it made it bad. You have to make it illegal because otherwise you're encouraging them. The yeah. guy in the stall next to me might be doing heroin. It doesn't mean I'm going to condone it and make it legal. It right. still needs to be right. right. So what does the Bible say about us making iniquitous decrees? 
woe to you, yeah. right? And so we have laws. As Texas men, we have a responsibility to make sure our laws are just. Yeah. Like, he doesn't care. I, I know this sounds blasphemous, yeah. but, but God hates, Amos 5, God hates our worship and our praise and says he doesn't hear our prayers yeah, I'm tired of your party. and, I'm tired of your, and your festivals. Festival. Be, bring justice to the land. Yeah. Bring mercy. Right. Like, why can't you bring mercy? Right. Like, we don't need any more concerts. Like, look at these kids are being slaughtered in your land. The number one cause of death is murder. And there's a, a pile full of orphans that need to be adopted. Do those things and then come, you know? Well, and and so important. that's what we're saying, you know? And one of the reasons we come here is because, you know, like I know pastors that do IVF, yeah. all right? And they've never even thought about it. This is, this is what you do. It's a medical procedure, like abortion. It's, it's called abortion. It's not like, well, I'm going to go kill my baby today. Yeah, they saw the It's an ambiguous... To yeah. Lessen the guilt. So, you know... Like calling it a fetus or something. Yeah. Or what. Which is Latin for little one. Yeah. That's what... I mean, they just don't know they're speaking Latin for little one. I'm going to kill my little one. Yeah. You know, it's like... I think the important thing that we have to do, especially as Christian men, is to ensure that the message that we're delivering is... Uh, has the nuance. It's just as important as how we deliver it. I agree. Um, because you're not... You guys should stay out here eager to talk and whatnot. And that's great. I think that the other message that we need to do is not just to the people that are committing the transgression, but to those of them who are approaching them in a way of condemnation. I mean, right. like, the Bible says that, you know, he who hates reproof is stupid, you know? Right. It tells us that those that we love, we speak into. How we do that is just as important I as we do that. Yeah, I agree 100%. Um, but the problem is they're not getting it from the pulpit. No. You know, like... Prosperity uh, gospel. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah. So, so what happens is, you know, these crazy guys that stand out here... <laughs> You know, like we actually, like this girl said, hey, you brought up a whole bunch of points I never even considered. Sure. Thank you. You know, like that, I think that's going to make a difference. I mean, there'll be people that won't um, kill like 20 kids today yeah. or in the future because we're out here, just like when we're out in the high schools, like people go, how dare you, you know, and they get all mad. And then a girl comes up, there was a girl at Liberty High School, she came out and there was, uh, she organized 150 kids to come out and counter protest. Yeah. They swarmed us, okay? Yeah. And we had like 30 really good conversations. But at the end of that protest, she came up to me and she said, hey, I gotta tell you something. My sister is pregnant and now she's going to, keep, she's decided to keep her baby now because of you guys. Huh? So here she was counter protesting. Was exactly. Yeah, because I'm like the Homer Simpson right, of exactly. Christianity, you know, like I am a door. You know, uh, he delights in the blunder in which the gospel is delivered because yeah. we screw it up. All the we time. do, man. Like I'm, a, I am like, like, if you, like if you got to know me really well, you'd be like, yeah, he's like the Homer abolitionist, you know. Which is funny. And, I mean, Noah was, uh, you know, Moses was a stutter. Noah was a drunk. Yeah. Paul was a murderer. Yeah. David was an adulterer. Yeah. I mean, like God, anybody that will say, okay, here I am, send me. Yeah. God will be like. Let's Isaiah. go. Yeah. You know? I mean, so, what church do you go to? The Village. The Village? Yeah. Okay. Is it, where? where is that? Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually headed, uh, I also no. work part-time in remodeling. It's out okay. in Flower. I yeah. live in uh, Lewisville. Okay. Yeah, Todd Bullis is my, my uh, brother, Matt, in the Lord. Brother in the Lord, yeah, so. Well, I, but, the main reason I wanted to stop over here is just to let you guys know that you'll probably get 100 people cussing you out, but, you know, I just wanted to give you at least one Find word us on Facebook, Abolition Society, Little Elm. Got yeah. it. So you probably, well, we stand out in front of churches on Sundays, you know, and sometimes the pastors get really mad. Other times they bring us donuts, you know, I mean, it, it, usually the ones with the better, um, um, not theology, but the better ecclesiology sure. are get madder because they're like, how dare you tell us to repent, you know, and we yeah. say, look, we live in a land, sorry, sorry, we live in a land where child sacrifice is normal and totally accepted. Actually, you know, it's so, sin for the most part. I, I mean, we normalize sin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it's totally true. You know, and, and God, like the humble, somebody who's humble, God will lift their even if they kill their child, right? If they're they humble don't. and they repent, God loves them. And you that's, know, that's the thing is repent. Yeah, because we sin. I feel a ten commandments daily. It's the desire yeah. to repent. That's why our church says uh, Jesus doesn't want perfection; he wants progress. I mean, it's just the desire to recognize it and not walk in it. Because there's only one sin yeah. that's not forgiven. It's the sin right, not denial of the Holy Spirit. You know, yeah. So, so well, I, I appreciate you appreciate you stopping. You, hey, God bless you too, man. Um, keep it up, man. We will. Endless is my head.